Hi guys, I'm back again. Well, um, this time I wanna try to clear Burpegor um, with more friendly build because I know that might be some some of you still don't have class of wheel gear, so I will not use those gear. Okay, and I asked my friend Sir Duane to set his olive because several days ago he told me that his olive already ex3 so i asked for his help um yeah with full set of class of wheel gear and then um supreme victor force mysterian for demon killer gf extension for additional um, parameters Oh, with Dark Rain Vision card, nice. Okay, nice. With Demon Killer three hundred percent and LB damage. Um, thank you so much, sir. Next, I bring Roberta and only build her best form with um Demon Killer build. And well, I'm sorry if I still because I still need some NV STMR to help. Um, but I hope you guys can also um, clear this this trial easier. Okay, Roberta has 300% Demon Killer as well, and then Storm Seeker Esther without Clash of Will gear. Um, her attack only 8,100 with two Tifa STMR. Hmm. Okay. Yep, she has 300% demon killer and LB damage. Sylvie. Um, she is my provoke tanker with obsidian bracer to auto break enemies. And don't forget to equip her with safety bit. Warform equip with same gear. Yep. Alright. Yep. Okay. My last unit is Samurai Shizuru best form built with demon killer 300 percent and indestructible like okay indestructible like and this is her abrasive build well i cannot say this is a budget build but um more friendly build okay so um yeah just up to avoid misunderstanding here um Samurai Shizuru has 300% 300% demon killer and LB damage only 270% guys Okay, I think that's all so let's give it a try. I Hope this strategy can work mm. Well First turn Riberta's gonna cast in Inferno bread support from the skies and mega bread and then sylvie has elemental vines compassion at night and bargaining defense esther has energizing bunny to to buff demon killer bolting slice and calm before the storm shizuru yeah you guys can choose beast stone plant or or inset pulverizer um okay i pick beast and then olive cast limit burst well riberta and sylvie cast first and next esther cast first and then um, olive okay Let's see. Oh, almost 1 billion, guys. Almost 1 billion. And next. Um, Sylphie shift to Brassive Form, I guess. And cast a Limit Burst. Um, to give Shizuru um, LB damage by 250%. Um, Riberta cast. Mystic Red and Shizuru shift to Brassive Form and cast Limit Burst. 
Esther, Hazeling Rivers, Olive, Olive, um, Gunner Guardian, Flaming Melons, Giant Melon Amol, Sky or Mammals, and Dual Summer Shot. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, 6.1 billion, guys. Alright, and what's next? Um, Sylvie. I will cast Pochet Demon to Olive. And then I've got Chorback to fully Sizuru Vision. Uh, L Limit Burst. I mean LB Gates, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then carrying Paladin Strike to restore MP. Because um, this turn Burpegor will absorb or drain MP. And well, I will just click reload. Um, Olive cast Limit Burst. Esther cast Calm Before the Storm and Bolting Slice. Here we go. Okay, trip 33% remaining. All right. Um next Sylvie oh oh. What should I do? How to fully Sizur LB gets Oh, oh, that's bad. Well, um, mm, okay, Riberta cast Draconic Triune to fully Sizuru LB gets and Mystic Bread two times. Esther cast Limit Burst, um, and then, mm, Well, I will try to use Fire Cannon Fire, Giant Melon Ammo, Sky, Momos, and Dual Summer Shot. Alright, here we go. Come on! Yes! Woo! Thank you, Olive! You are so powerful here. Let's see their damage detail, guys. Whoa! Awesome, man! Oh, yeah, it's normal because Burpegor's spirit is lower than defense, so it's okay. Okay guys, I hope this strategy can help you to beat um, Burpegor. Um, yeah, you guys can can bring company in Olive that already EX3 with best in slot gear, best in slot build. Alright, I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching. See ya guys.